All right, let's get to it. He's back from Sugar Creek, Ohio. He's freshly eclipsed. He has reached the point of totality. Rico Beard rejoins us. How was your trip? How's everything? Are you ready to rock? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go, man. Yes. Sure. Where are your glasses? They're at home. You sure? I'm positive. I'm pretty sure we can show you what we thought of your activities yesterday on the big board a little later. Um, let's just get into this. I, I, but I did take some photos for you. So oh, I can't I'll wait. send them to you. Sure, I'll get right on that. <laughs> so we have the Red Wings game of the millennium that we're going to get to. But you have one thing you want to talk Tigers about. Comeback win today. Bednar implodes in the ninth. They get a much a much needed win because largely they were trash for these two games in Pittsburgh. They steal one today. You got to have a half a dozen of these at the end of a year if you're going to win a division. You got to straight up feloniously. You have to steal. You do half a dozen games when you when you look at the fact that you know the homeless A's came in here and took a series and just you know in the in the final two games just almost blanked you. You, you got to run. Congratulations. But I did. I said, can you go seven and four to start the year off? And guess what? They backdoored their way into seven and four today. The comeback, comeback victory. Can't be angry because that was the goal that I set to start the year off. You're playing bad teams. You beat the bad teams. Now, what's next? What's the next? What's what, what's the next benchmark for this team? Because I look at the month of April. Twenty games left. Fitting we played the April in the D. You got twenty games left. Mm-hmm. Okay. Seven games against the Twins, four games against the Rangers, three games on the road at Tampa, uh, three games against Kansas City, and then you got three games against St. Louis. Those teams, a lot of them are like kind of where you are in the middle. 13 of the games of the 20 are right here in Detroit. That's my next benchmark for this team. Where are you at at the end of April? You, you, you were seven and four. Can you at least, I, Mike, is 13 and thirteen and 7 asking for too much? No, not, not if you're any good. I mean, the Twins suck. Right. You got like 50 games against them coming up. Right. You got you got the Ford here, and then you got an, <clears throat> We're losing them. We're losing them. The Eclipse got them. <laughs> you got four here, and then you got another three yeah. there. So that's I, I seven games. I don't think you're wrong. I mean, for me, I can't even get to the numbers. See, you're not gonna, you're not gonna like what. I know you listened a little bit yesterday on your drive down to Sugar Creek. It was more. I, I my my first checkpoint. By the way, would be, I just want to let you know how much I hate you, but we'll you. get into that. You're later. welcome. Uh man, I need to be watchable. Yeah, you won the game today. I mean, that, that uh, it was an hour and fifty seven minutes of garbage, and then I got about six minutes of fun. The reality is, they're not watchable. This offense is bad. And every pitcher not named Scooble is a major question mark. Like today, hey, Mize got helped out by Riley Green in a big way. The reality, Casey Mize can't miss bats. They're not watchable. But here's the thing. I, I did hear you mention this. It's games like this that may be the difference with you winning a Correct. division or not having to play in game 163. Because Especially it's on the heels of what went down against the A's this week. And I agree with you totally. I'm fine taking the wins. But you're asking me, like, what's next? Yes, 13 and 7 the rest of the way for a record that would be what, 20 and 10 or, or 20 and 13 or whatever. Yes, I mean show me a, yeah. a nice 20 and 11. Yeah, show me a nice start to the season. We can work out some of the problems down the line. I know for me to get really excited, they they've just got to basically be a different team because you're just you're not going to win games this way. Right. But no, I don't think you're wrong. Listen, you know my viewpoint on expectations. I think this town is very low on them. I, 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 this division is so bad. I watch more baseball than anybody. These teams are awful. If you're telling me the Guardians are the best of the bunch, which currently they are, they have question marks. Uh, one of their best arms is now dead in Shane Bieber. You know, they have an offense right now where Angel Jimenez is like hitting like Babe Ruth. Is that going to continue? The bottom line is the rest of these teams are bad. So, Rico, no, you're not wrong to have that expectation. You know, the St. Louis Cardinals have a cool logo and a rich history. I don't think this is a very good baseball team. They really struggle to score. So it's like, all right, no, you're not wrong to say, Mike, I, go 13-7 and seven over the next 20. Build on the 7-4. and four. 
Uh, no, I, I, I don't think you're wrong to say, hey, be 20 and 11, be 19 and 12, be 18 and 13. I was about to say, uh, the, the, to me, the, the floor is 17 and 14. That means you win 10 and 10. I can't do that. No, you win 10 no, and 10. No, no. That. But because you jumped out to this lead to start off, that's why yeah. these games against bad teams were so important because it, it allowed you the equity to build up that when you hit the slump, yeah. you still had – a little bit of wiggle room. So 10 and 10 to me is the absolute worst that you can do. You cannot finish the month in these next 20 games with a losing record. You, you you have to at least win 10 games. Now I would like to see more than that because then once we've said it before, the vision is yours to, for the having, or at least whether, whether your general manager believes that or not, you should be able to win this thing. Okay. You get Minnesota, Minnesota's not, not a good team this year. Right, you got a lot of bad teams advantage. on the yeah, schedule Let's take early. advantage of them. You play who's on your schedule, and therefore, Rico, look at it this way. If, if, if through the first 31 games you're 20 and 11, all right, you've allowed yourself to play 500 ball in a different 30-game span and probably still be in this thing. Right. Or, God forbid, you have a bad 30-game set. You play four or five games under. It's not going to ruin you. Look, I just – Because I can't understand that this team has this – I don't know if it's a sense of urgency. You saw it today where they all of a sudden scored a bunch of runs in the ninth. They score right. runs in extra innings. It's like, all okay, right. guys, it'd be nice if you just did this in like the second inning. Look, I'll give, I'll give Green credit for the walk and Urshela hit a ball. I mean, a couple of them are bleeders. You got Bednar hitting Torkelson. You got Pittsburgh's manager inexplicably not walking Carpenter to get to Baez. You take the gift. <laughs> no, you just take the gift. But like, I'm not going to sit here and act like all of a sudden this was a real scoring parade. You stole the game. Get the hell out of there. Because getting swept by the Pirates, that doesn't work. That's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, Especially that, that the way funny. they played last night. Yeah, it was funny. It was... I think I think 13-7 and seven over the next 20 would be a real positive sign. Real sign like, you know what? And I would assume, this is dangerous, assumptions kill. I would assume if they go 13-7 and seven in the next 20, the offense will have picked it up. That they will become more watchable. Uh, we'll have less of Jack Flaherty bad uh, you mean if the weather gets warmer, the bats will warm well, up. Well, and Maeda notoriously bad in April. I'd like to think he can pick it up a little. Look, man, it's a long year, but I don't think you're wrong to have an expectation that at the end of April, yeah, be seven, eight, nine games over five hundred. I, I, that's how I look at it. You and again, oh, you can't play the schedule in baseball. You, you can more because it's a lot like the NBA. A lot of the teams aren't trying. Mm-hmm. It's just reality. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking past into May and June. No, no. I'm looking at the, the next 20 games. You got winnable games on your schedule. 248-539-9797. What's your new benchmark for this team? I said seven and four. And, my goodness, they barely made it. But as of right now. Yeah, they made it. They're seven and four. <laughs> what do you do next? Because I say 13 and seven to me, man. That's you finished out the month strong. Yeah, you had a you had the best April in what? They haven't been above 500 in April since 2016. I, yeah. I believe you're right. I'd have to go back further to go. All right, well, when's the last time they were nine games over? Look, that's part of unwinding your 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 negative image. You gotta you gotta eliminate some of the bad things. You gotta be able to accomplish stuff like we saw the Lions do it in Living Color. Mm -hmm. You want the respect? You gotta start doing things you haven't done. So, yeah, I don't think it's unfair. I don't think it's crazy either. The pitching will be fine. I Look, I understand every starter not named Mize has gotten touched up here the second time through. I don't think they're that bad. Okay? I don't think the pen is this good. I mean, they, they, but the pen is good. They're getting the job done. It's, it's a matter of is this lineup, how much better is this lineup than what they're given? And I don't have that answer. I really don't. Yeah. Because if yeah, you're intent on Mark yeah. Canna carrying your baseball team, you, you may as well pack it up. Well, you got Geo as well. <laughs> hey, God bless. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I loved him as a part-time player right. with my Yankees, but that's they, not they an everyday limits. third base. Right. They have limits. So, yeah. 13-7. That's what I'm looking it. for. I would love to see. And I think it's within the realm of possibility. Worst case scenario, I, because you did the 7-4, and four, I can even drop it down to 10-10. and 10. Still leaves you at 17 and 14 at the yeah. end of the month. You're still above. You're north of 500. You got a little but bit of cushion. Do you at least understand? You know, and I know you weren't here yesterday. 
it is very hard for someone like me who's held the opinion, not only about the way they went in the draft, but what they didn't do in the offseason. Oh, and yeah. now that we're seeing it actually play out, not just you, because you're right. Se- ugly seven and four is better than a pretty four and seven. I get that. But when you're watching this division, where, where we had an inkling, all right, this division's going to be bad. Shane Bieber's dead. Royce Lewis is dead. The White Sox never should have broke camp. <laughs> I mean, you start to look at it. Rico, they're 10 games into the year. You know how many runs the White Sox have scored? How many? 16. Wow. I, it's hard for me to be like, man, what if they had done so? I mean, you could. No, it it, it, it angers you. That's the same, the same way I felt, you know, the Lions. It was like, man, what if you would have added that extra pass rusher? Would that have been the difference maker? Maybe. Maybe. Right, because you, it leads you to speculation. Like, man, you were so close. Why not take advantage? Because in this world of sports, man, sometimes you're given this this perfect scenario, but you got to take advantage of it. And I don't feel like Detroit's taking any advantage of this division, no. of this scenario. Yeah. There's an element to the team. I, I think some of it, like the way they're winning games is not sustainable, but there are elements of it that, that, that are. I mean, defensively, I think they're good. I do. Pitching, good. I don't know that it's going to be pen. great, but good. Pen, very good. I just, the pen right now is damn near unhittable. It's this lineup. How much better can this lineup be than what it is? I don't have that answer. Yeah. I have doubts, but we're going to find out. Well, I will say this. Yeah, I like, and you've, we've said this before, you're basically, you're handing the other team an extra set of three outs because every time you put Javi yeah. Baez out there, you're saying we can see three. Well, hell, it's you kind of, might as well put the pitcher out there. It's kind of him and Parker Meadows. You're basically handing six outs, seven outs. So that's a bit of an issue. And then obviously, if a guy like Torkelson's going to scuffle the way he has, I know he had a you know a single today, but you, you get my point. It's just uh, you have time, and as long as you're able to grind and win and steal a game like you did today. You have time to figure it out. Hell, man, there are teams like Toronto right now for the talent they have. They're playing awful. I'd much rather be seven and four than four and seven. But ultimately, I think you got to begin developing stuff you can believe in. You know, things you can plant the flag and go, this is who we are. And I guess I'm looking bigger picture. If you can stay north of 500 if you can be competitive in this division could you force scott harris to actually have an ex an expectation of winning because well, right that, now that and the fact that maybe you go out at the trade deadline and you're a buyer i i would love it and that's all i'm begging for is can we get to fourth of july in a command position and now you can go out there and you can get a bat or two to, to, to add to this line, uh, we're fine. We like our flex. You know, because you could have got two, four, could have had two bats and you not have to trade anybody. But yeah, sure. Two, four, eight, five, three, nine, ninety seven, ninety seven. We'll get a couple of phone calls in the mix. And yes, Red Wings game of the millennium. We got to get to it. We also have thoughts on a national title game. Hey, boiler up. <laughs> we were close. I hate Purdue. We were close. That school that, that should was be my, shuttered. That was, that was the team that I picked at the beginning. And Good. Like, oh, let it burn. 97-1.